Hello everyone, this is Julia from Craft Room Adventures for Heavy Doodle and today I'm super excited to share this fun unicorn light up card with you. I'm using the Pure Blossom Press Easy Lights for the first time and I'm also sharing how I tried trapped ink blending for the first time. I recently came across a video by Jennifer McGuire and I was super excited to try it. So first I'm using the Heavy Doodle Starfall stencil and I'm ink blending that with scattered straw and squeezed lemonade for the stars. I added a layer of the, of the scattered straw first because I didn't want the yellow to be too bright. Then I cleaned off the stencil and now I'm pressing Versamark into all of the openings. And now I'm splattering the panel with clear embossing powder. Off to the side my heat gun was already heating up and now I'm just running it over the panel to melt the embossing powder. I'm not going to show the entire process because you really could, even a person could barely tell that there was embossing powder on it. And now here comes the fun part because I added the, uh, the, the stars are protected by the embossing powder, I can just ink blend over those with another color which I think is just super cool. So I'm first laying down spun sugar. Then a little bit of the Kitsch Flamingo, not too much because I didn't want it to be like too bright pink. Then I'm going in with Shaded Lilac, just blending the colors back and forth. I wanted the sky to be mostly purplish blue. And I added quite a bit of the blueprint sketch at the top and then I went over everything with shaded lilac because I didn't want it to be like a true blue but more of a purplish blue. I made sure to clean off my brush in between so that I wouldn't transfer the ink further down. A little spot in the middle of my cardstock for some reason didn't want to hold ink but in the end uh, I put images there so I figured it was fine. Now I'm just wiping over the stars to make sure that they're nice and bright and shiny. I also die cut a piece of black cardstock, the same size as my card panel, that I die cut with the largest of the stitched rectangles. And now I'm using a single hole punch, like a manual hole punch, uh, in 1.5 millimeters to add little holes where my LEDs can shine through. And I lined up both panels using uh, some uh, tape because I wanted to add the black layer so that not the entire panel would light up. I had tried that before and you couldn't just see the stars, but everything was lighting up and not just the spots you wanted. So I made sure to cover that with black cardstock and then I just glued those together so that the holes would line up nicely. Now I stamped out all of my images from Fluffy Puffy Unicorns, which is just one of my favorites. The unicorns are just the cutest. And I'm using my Zig Queen Color Real Brush Markers to color them in. I'm using the Colorless Blender as well as 901, 903 and a little bit of 200. I'm going in with a 903 as my darkest shade. just below the hairline and where like deeper shadows would be. Not adding too much and then I'm just softening the edge because I don't want to blend it out into the body because that would just, I wanted the unicorn to still be white, just that there's a bit more contrast there. Then for my unicorn's hair I'm going in with yellow, number 51. And then 202 as well as 201. Just blending that out again. And then 83 for my purple. And I try to go with colors that would fit with the background. And then going with 38, which isn't quite the color that I intended it to be to work with the background, but I think it still looks fine. I'm using the same color for the horns and the rest of the unicorns I'm coloring off camera. And I'm using the same shades as I did before to color in the tail. And for the bottom layer of the tail, I'm doing I'm switching between purple and the teal. Then again, I'm using the same shades for the rainbow. First yellow, then the pink, and you can always see the caps on screen. 
just blending the colors out. I didn't pull the color too far into the center because I wanted the rainbow or the colors to still be fairly light because the background is kind of like a pastel pink purple. Just adding a tiny little bit of the blue because it's very, very vibrant. And then just blending it out. I added the Heffy Doodle foam tape to the edge of my panel. And then it was time to add my LED mechanism. Those are, like I mentioned, the Pure Blossom Press Easy Lights, which are also available in the Heffy Doodle shop. And those are truly so easy to use. The pack comes with the lights as well as a battery. So you just slide in the battery and you're done. That's it. I was so excited when I just saw that this is really just all you have to do. It's so fun. And then I just used some regular solo tape to adhere the little LEDs in place so they would be spread out nicely around my panel just to hold those wires down since I'm not adding them behind specific holes I just wanted the entire inside to light up which is also why I added the black foam tape just to making sure it works to line up the panel with my card base I just added it to uh, into my misty with the foam pad out so that I would have an easier time lining everything up in the corner for my sentiment, I'm using the Sparkle Everywhere You Go from the Fluffy Puffy Unicorns and I'm heat embossing that in white. Off to the side, my heat gun is already heating up. And now I'm just running it over the panel or over the embossing powder until it's smooth and melted. Down at the bottom, you can already see the dye that I will be using. And this one is from the Pebble Sentiments the coordinating or add-on dies, and I'm using my heavy doodle die cutting machine to cut them out. And I think this is just so nice to give like a pretty stitching and scalloped edge to my panel. I also just gave the die cut a little swipe with a baby wipe just to remove any excess of the um, anti-static powder. Off camera I played with the layout of my uh, little scene and now I'm just using a little bit of glue bird to add all my images, trying to make sure that I don't cover all of the holes because I didn't actually plan that before. <laughs> so I just had to maneuver around my little star cutouts. Then I'm just adding everything with a little bit of liquid glue and I added foam squares to the back of my unicorns as well as to the sentiment bubble. And then I'm just placing them on my scene or in my scene. Just fiddling around with the placement so that I wouldn't cover too many of the like stars. Then I'm also adding a little cloud where you would push the button. I didn't have like a stamp that would say like push, so I will just leave a note inside the card to say what it does. <laughs> And then I added the sentiment and this is the finished card. I had so much fun making this. Here you can see the beautiful lit up stars and I think it's just so fun. Those cute little unicorns are just so adorable and I had so much fun making this. I loved using the easy lights, as I said, also available at Heffy Doodle. Subscribe to the Heffy Doodle YouTube channel for more crafty inspiration. And I hope I'll see you again next time. Until then, have an amazing day. Bye!